Shalom, all praises and honor and glory be unto our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the Rekha Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit, and the Paleo Hebrew is called Halon Yumla, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha Kodash. As always, double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops, our leaders of the Church of Great Millstone that taught us His wisdom, this knowledge and understanding through the Holy Spirit. All right, and that are ruling well. Shalom, peace and love to you believers. All right, shalom, peace and love to the prophets and teachers all right, that are laboring to push this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And shalom to the believers. All right, I was watching, you know, Apostle Ramlab and uh, Elder Demash, and they were basically, you know, going into um, the lesson all all nations had Jake in captivity, you know, which was a fire lesson. You know, and it got me pumped up. You know, there was um something in there that Elder Dimash mentioned concerning are uh, these Palestinians that are over there. You know, and how we're unsympathetic for them. You know, hey, our our enemies are fighting against each other. You know, it's a beautiful thing. The Heavenly Father turned turned them on each other. All right, and more are going to be brought into that re region of our enemies. All right, of these other nations, and they're going to fight against each other there too. All right, it's all, all written. You know, the book of Joel, the um, third chapter, Isaiah, the 34th chapter. All right, a precursor to that was in, uh, I believe, 2 Kings with uh, the king Jehoshaphat and how the Heavenly Father made the Edomites, the, the Moabites, and the Ammonites fight against each other. All right, so, hey, whatsoever was written aforetime was written for our learning. All right, things tend to um, repeat themselves. But however, the Heavenly Father got the Palestinians and Amalek all right, fighting against each other. All right, and they want us to feel sympathetic, you know, for the Palestinians. But wait, when you think about it, these motherfuckers, although they're getting you know, blown into bits, you know, and getting tore up. It's a, basically a genocide over there. Although they're getting fucked up by, you know, these small hats, you know, these Amalekites, they still are keeping a secret of the Amalekites. And that is that they're not the true people and that we are. See, in all of this war that's going on over there, when did they open up and say, well, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the United States of America scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you are the true Israelites and these people are not the Israelites. Now, in 2018, there was a statement that was made by a Palestinian leader and it, is, it incited an a, a uproar, all right, which his speech was condemned as anti sim and I'm going to read exactly what he said. And this comes from the New York Times. All right. It comes from the New York Times. Okay. All right. Because he made another statement as well. Basically, he said that the people of uh, Germany didn't, you know, uh, do the things that they did against the Hatters because they were anti sim but they did it because of their wicked banking practices. So let's read this. Once again, this is from 2018, May 2nd to be exact. And it says, Ramallah, West Bank, the Palestinian leader's long, rambly speech was laced with deeply anti-Sim uh, tropes, including that the JEWs of Europe brought persecution in the H upon themselves because of usury banking and their social function all right which um the main bankers in europe around that time were what the, the Rothschilds. so basically they brought it upon themselves for being slimy demons uh israel he said grew out of europe colonial project that had nothing to do with J-E-W-I-S-H history or aspirations. And citing a widely discredited book from the 1970s by Arthur K. I'm going to say it like that. 
called the 13th tribe. Uh, he uh, posited that Ashkenazi J.E.W.s uh, were descended not from the biblical Israelites, but from the K-H-A-Z-A-R-S, a Turkic people who converted to Judaism in the 19th century, opening a rare gathering uh, of the Palestinian Liber Liberation Organization legislative body in the West Bank city Ramada, Ramada on Monday night. So as you can see, they know which um you got Ashkenazi J-E-W-S and you got Sephardic J-E-W-S. The Sephardic J-E-W-S will be true Israelites. They're real Israelites. Although they may not look like Israelite, uh, like, you know, LeBron James, <coughs> you know, Deion Sanders, you know, or dark skinned Israelite. However, their their lineage goes back to the true Israelites. But however, are right, these particular ones that he's talking about? All right, these are the ones that have stolen our land and stolen our identity. All right, they're not the true ones. So these leaders of the world know, they know. But all of them uphold that lie of the small hatters that are imitating us. So, however, you know, fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. And the time is going to come when we're going to have every single one of you. All right, in shackles and chains. All right, in slavery. And when your children come out, guess what? They're going to be in fucking sh shackles and, and chains as well. Now, this is from a, a website called the Washington Institute.org, and this is from September 12, 2023. It says Abbas and the, the K H A uh, Z A R claim separating myth from fact. It says the lesson of this current episode with Abbas should be that more research is called for to throw light on the half forgotten chapter of history to refute such claims only more accurate information can help remove the k-h-a-z-a-r-s from the shadow of mystery and anti-sim and place them instead in the correct historical context chairman muhammad abbas of the palestinian authority has now publicly raised a long discarded historical claim used to deny uh, Israel's right to exist. A right recognized by the, the uh, predecessors, uh, Yasser uh, Arafat, as a key component of the Oslo Accords 30 years ago. In an August 24 speech, to Fatah's revolutionary council uh, con convened in Ramallah, Abbas asserted that Ashkenazi J.E.W.S., whose ancestors led the Zionist drive to establish the J.E.W.I.S. state, are not the descendants of the ancient Hebrew tribes, the children of Israel of the Old Testament, and therefore have no claim <coughs> to the uh, contested land while also claiming that Hitler killed the J.E.W.S. only because they dealt with usury and money. Abbas adopted the uh, academically refuted theory that European J.E.W.S. originated instead a millennia ago from the, the K.H.A.Z.A.R. empire located in the contemporary southeastern Europe whose royal dynasty and aristocracy are reported by me medieval sources to have converted to some form of Judaism. The truth that we should clarify to the world is that European J.E.W.S. are not Semites. Now, that's false because they, they are Semites, but however, they're uh, Edomites, uh, uh, and it's not Semites, it will be Shamites. All right. So they're Edomite Shamites. 
So they are Semites, but they're from Edom. Now, when you go into the scriptures, this is the book of Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, and verse 4. It says, um, Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus said Yahweh power to the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, and to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, which are uh, become a prey in a derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia which have appointed my land into their possession with all with joy of all their heart with despiteful minds to cast it out for prey. All right, in the NLT it reads, this is what the sovereign Lord, uh, which is Yahweh says, my jealousy, my jealous anger burns against these nations, especially Edom, because they have shown utter contempt for my glee, uh, gleefully, uh, uh, for me by gleefully taking my land for themselves as plunder. All right, the scripture says that a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. So they took our land and not only did they take our land, all right, they are, are uh, perpetrators of the biggest identity fraud ever known to man. But they're being found out. But however, all of you other nations are going to join with them, all right, in destruction and in captivity. Because however, all of you were in on it together and you are helping to upload, up, uphold their lie. All, right, all of you nations, you are helping to uphold their life. The book of Psalms 83 and 3, it says they devise crafty schemes. And this is from the NLT against your people. They conspire against you, uh, your precious ones. Come, they say, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. We will see uh, Salakia. We will destroy their very memory of its existence. Let me read that again. Come, they say, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. So what did they do ultimately? They tried to destroy the memory of us as a nation. All right. And one of the things they did to help destroy the memory of us as a nation is by destroying the names that we recall, which were the 12 tribes. All right, because they didn't destroy the name Israel. All right, the land is called by the name of Israel today, but really it's not the true name anyway. The true name will be Yashar Allah. So that land should be called Yashar Allah. But however, they call it by Israel, which is a made up name. All right. It should be Yashar Allah, which is he is a prince of, a power, of the power and loosely translated the sons of God. All right, we are the sons of God. But however, you have caused our, our memorial or our remembrance to cease in the earth. All right. And, and here it is. You're calling yourselves the chosen people, but only identifying with one tribe. Well, where's the rest of the 12, the, the uh, 11? The book of Jeremiah 33 and 24. Consider thou not what his people have spoken, saying the two families which Yahweh have chosen, he have even cast them off. And those two families are the two nations, all right, the, the southern nation and the northern nation of the nation of Israel, which the southern kingdom, all right, was, was uh, under all right, the rulership of Judah, and the northern kingdom was under the rulership of Ephraim. But however, in the kingdom of heaven, according to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, they're going to come back and be one big nation, all right? The tabernacle of David is going to be raised up again. It says, thus... They have despised my people that they should be no more a nation before me. See? So what did they do? They basically worked together all right, to fulfill something that they all wanted all right, as haters of the, the Heavenly Father's people. The book of Lamentation 2 and 15 says this, and it's from the NLT. All who pass by jeer at you, they scoff and insult uh, insult beautiful Jerusalem. 
saying, is this the city called most beautiful in all the world and joy of all the earth? All your enemies mock you. They scoff and snarl and, and say, we have destroyed her at last. We have long waited for this day and it's finally here. So all of these nations waited for that. All, right, all of these nations wanted us to go into the position that we're in now. All right, to, to, to hold us down. All right, to stop us from rising up or knowing who we are. All right, it tells you that in the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter, which I'm going to read from the 8th verse. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of a great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Now, in the NLT, it says, which is, um, bear with me, Babu Kasha. It says, which is, um, damn. It was just in my mind. Okay, it says, uh, which is figuratively. It was right in the forefront of my mind. It's um, reading on. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues of the nation shall see their dead bodies three days and three, uh, three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So they didn't help to identify us. They didn't tell us who we were or they didn't tell us who we are and why. Well, the reason why is because they hope for us to forget who we were and to forget our power so that they could. Uh, uh, be able to take us down. It says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because the two prophets torted, tormented them that dwell upon, dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spear of life from the Most High entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So you better believe that the elites are afraid. All right, they're afraid. They spent so much money to stop us from finding out who we were. They tried in every way, form, or fashion to stop us from coming back to the knowledge of who we are. All right, but it didn't work because it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So now what's getting ready to happen to all of you heathen nations. Not just one, not just two, but all of you, all right? Because there is not one nation under the heaven that have not had our people oppressed, all right? You're about to be oppressed. You're about to go into slavery. The book of Jeremiah 30 and beginning at uh, 15. Why did you protest your punishment? And this is from the NLT. This a wound. That has no cure. I have had I have had to punish you because your sins are many uh, and your guilt is great. But all or because the Heavenly Father punished Israel, he used you to do it. But however, are you he that touches us touches the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye? It says, But all who devour you will be devoured, and all your enemies will be sent. No, I don't like that one. Let me read it in the KJV. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So with that, you know, these heathen nations help to uphold the lie, all right, of these small hats, you know, that they're not the, the true people. Now, even though they'll come out and say they're not the true people, they won't say who the true people are, all right, even though they know. So you're helping to uphold their lie because you're not speaking and saying who the true people are and which is us. So all of you nations, because you all rejoice and wanted us in the position of lowliness that we're in, but the time is going to come when you're going to go into captivity. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. 
and the Rakai Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles and our elders. Shalom, one peace and love to you prophets and teachers and the rest of the believers. Shalom.